All right, this is what I've been waiting for. Every Dragon Ball fan's been waiting for this. More Dragon Ball Sparking Zero action. I've been playing a bit of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 1 lately. And it isn't my first time with the Tenkaichi series. I grew up with it like the majority of other Dragon Ball fans. But I've never played through Tenkaichi 1 because the game wasn't mine. Actually, none of them were mine, all right? Uh, sibling shit, you know. Sometimes other siblings get the better shit, but... I'm catching up, I'm playing Tenkaichi 1, and I gotta say, Tenkaichi 1's controls are a bit more complex than I remembered. It's actually insane. It's crazy. I don't know if Tenkaichi 2 has the same setup with how the game works, but there's a lot of mechanics packed into that shit. For an arena fighter, it had me sweating. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, what is this? What is this shit? But... Here we are, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Goku vs. Vegeta Rivals trailer, Budokai Tenkaichi series. I'm, let's see the visuals. Let's, let's see what we're in for. Every time I see this game on screen, it's a joy. Unreal Engine. Budokai Tenkaichi Returns. Okay. Hold on. I, I just got to make sure this is in 4K if it's available. Yeah, Bandai Namco, they don't do 4K for some reason, unless it's Tekken. Whatever, let's run it back. Cell looks immaculate. Okay. Oh boy. All right, let's go. Let our the visuals are so good. Oh boy. Oh man. Wait, hold on. Let me. Let's watch the whole trailer again. Yeah. Then we're gonna go back. Let's go! Let's go! We got giant forms are back. Took them out of the Raging Blast series, but they're back. By my hatred, the Super Saiyan within me erupted to life. Oh my God! What did the Namekians do to deserve this? <laughs> Super Vegeta? Nah, nah. Make the muscles a little bigger. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. It's good. Saiyan 2. Going through all the forms, huh? Oh my god. What you gonna do? Of course you have to go Majin for that. The boost ain't enough, Vegeta. The boost ain't enough. About to get your salad tossed. God forms. Let's get it. Show Super Saiyan 4, though. It looks good. The aura, oh my god! And it changes, depending on what you're doing! Got the blue aura. The Super Saiyan Blue is based off of Super Broly, design-wise. No oh my god, look at that shit! They put a Budokai Tenkaichi series on top, so you know what the fuck you're getting. <laughs> a lot of people online were complaining. What don't they just call it? What a guy take Kaiji? Why sparking? Well, now we live in a world where it's called both <laughs> in the same title. If they keep if they keep that Buddha guy ten Kaiji on top, everybody wins. All right, I just want to break this down though. I just want to see certain things. Nitpick if I must. Glaze if I must. All right, Science Saga costumes. Uh, he's not turning red, man. See, when it comes to Kaioken on Dragon Ball games, it's a hit or miss. If I remember correctly, the earlier Tenkaichi games did good. Raging Blast 1. I gotta look at Raging Blast 1 and 2 again. I don't remember that Kaioken's being that cool looking. Um. So, yeah. Oh, he read, he read, he read, he read. Okay, he read. On Xenoverse, it's good only if you're using Goku. You use Kaioken with anyone else and it looks like shit. They just give you red aura and call it a day. Like, your character doesn't turn red. Whether it's your custom-created character, Krillin, Yamcha, they don't turn red. Only Goku turns red. Like, they're fucking biased. <laughs> or maybe Goku's just using a higher level. Who knows? Goddamn. They bought the 8 back. Yo, do you know what this means, bro? We got Great Ape. 
generic because uh, Tenkaichi, they had a generic great ape that could be a stand-in for Kid Goku or Kid Gohan or some random Saiyan. We got great ape Vegeta pulling up. We got Giant Piccolo. I don't think Giant Piccolo is on any of the Tenkaichi games. Well, bring him in. If you do a 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai, bring him out. All right? Bring out, uh, you know what? We didn't have him in the mainline Tenkaichi games, but we had him in the most shittiest Tenkaichi game. But bring him into this one. Big Getty Star Cooler. Bring that mother for you. No, he wasn't in Tenkaichi, was he? He was. Why am I confusing Tenkaichi for Battle of Z? He might have been in both. My memory is like doo-doo garbage right now. He might have been in both. I think he was in Ultimate Tenkaichi. Even if he was, I'm pretty sure he was. Give us a Rudigon. Give us all the big... I'm about to say something sus. Give us all, <laughs> give us all the giants, all right? And Iraza's pulling up. Of course, uh, Max is pulling up. Uh, giant, oh wait, no, wait, oh, my bad, we don't have manga characters, we're not gonna get the giant Ultra Instinct Avatar Goku, because they're not like the Naruto games, where they give us manga characters ahead of the anime, Dragon Ball likes to make sure their marketing is online with the anime, that's garbage, I see some clipping going on with the shoulders there, that's not good, I guess you can't ask for perfection in all places, huh, so what are you gonna do? By my hatred, the Super Saiyan within me erupted to life. By my... So while Vegeta's doing a big bang attack, there's a lot of clouds in the sky. Obviously, they have to bring back stage destruction, but they, they might go hard with environmental interactions. Maybe if both players power up, clouds just gather up. Like, it could be some crazy shit. Hatred, the Super Saiyan within me erupted to life. Let's see if you can keep up. Going in. Oh... I don't like the way he looks in this game. And I know why. It's the model that they're using. It's the model that they're using. I think the characters... I'm not like a game developer, so... I don't know how to word this, but... The characters are a slave to their skeletal structures. If that makes sense. The 3D models, I mean. Like, they're having the skeletal structure go in the... Super Vegeta pose. But you need to make sure the model's moving accurately. His shoulder should be bulging out more. But since it's obeying the um, its skeletal structure of the model, it's just bending the arm. It's, it just looks cursed. <laughs> it just looks cursed a little bit. It looks natural if you're not like nitpicky, but other games, they make sure they fix this shit, you know? The shoulder's like bending. The shoulder's not supposed to bend. It's supposed to bulge. You know, they're just having the characters... Yeah, it's still in development, I hope. Needs a bit of fixing. He just doesn't look that brolic. I'm not I'm not looking for him to be as brolic as Trunks, but I know how Super Vegeta looks, you know? And I noticed another flaw about this game. Looks like they're not drawing them, uh... The face seems to be drawn, but the mouth seems to be actually, uh, 3D animated. Which is something I don't think Dragon Ball Fighters does. I think Dragon Ball Fighters draws them the, the mouth. I'm, I'm not sure. But it looks weird. Notice the lack of ink around the mouth. I say to know the mouth is 3D modeled instead of drawn like the eyes. Makes it look less anime. Same with the nose. Well, the nose, it didn't have to be freaking 2D. They could have just put inking over the edges. That's a good shot right there, though. Yeah. Obviously, this game needs a bit more polishing. It's good. It could be released... Visually speaking, visually speaking, it could probably be released as is, but I can see room for improvement in certain places. Are they blessed? Oh my god, they're not doing what I think they're doing. I want you guys to look at their hair. I gotta go back to Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta real quick. There's no way they're doing what I think they're doing, right? I'm looking for here real quick. I, was, I told you guys I was going to go ball deep in this shit. I had to. I had to. They're giving us this much? All right. I think I see what they're doing. Let's see what you just hair. Oh, fuck. It looks like it was just me. So the hair had different amounts of detail. So I thought since that was like Namek Saga Goku, he was drawn like the Namek Saga. And then Vegeta was drawn like the Android Saga. And that sounds insane to do for a Dragon Ball game. Why make them look like they did in terms of art style? With 
each individual arc. Well, they did it with Tenkaichi 3. If you choose Super Saiyan 1 Goku from the Freezer Saga and the Buu Saga, their hair looks completely different. They made it match up to the art style of that point. So I figured that's what they were doing, but it looks like it's just... Because this is regular Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta, right? But his hair is more, far more detailed than Goku. Which, at that point, it should be looking similar to Goku's at that time, but he drew all the extra lines in it and shit. The Super Saiyan within me but to be fair, when Vegeta pulled up on Semi Perfect Cell with his regular Super Saiyan 1 transformation, it was super detailed before he went to grade 2. So, I guess they could get away with that. Let's see if you can keep up. So Goku's hair doesn't have all those lines in it. Goku's hair is supposed to get those lines later on. Vegeta, when he fights 19, is supposed to look like Goku's hair. Let me show you. Alright. Like I said, I'm probably asking for perfection, but I'm just. I'm merely holding them to the standard that they held themselves to 20 years ago. So, am I really asking for too much? If that's what you want, then I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm quite easy. see how you've been trained. Let me see. Super, see, look. Look how Super Saiyan Dude Goku got the lines now. See what I mean? They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3. You had better be ready to kill me. For you to know that you <laughs> must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? All right. I will defeat you this day. So this is a Super Saiyan God's power. I'm tired. Too bad. The air, air pressure bubbles or bullets. That red ass Rasengan. Super Saiyan Blue. All right. There's no limit to the strength. You know what? I wouldn't mind these trailers. Now this, that, that. There's no limit to the strength of the Could have showed his bull evolved. He's doing spare bomb, isn't he? On Jiren. This looks so fuck. It looks good. Not as good as fighters, but it's there. Budokai Tenkaichi series, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Give me more, please, sir. Wish list now. Give me the date. Stop playing. <laughs> I know everyone's thinking the same thing. Give me that date so I can start the countdown. All right, we need that countdown. But I guess we got JJK coming out this week, so that's that, that's that's something. I'm not gonna get JJK immediately. I did not get Storm Connections. At first, I was pissed off because I didn't get, like, a pre-order bonus. But then the game turned out to be complete and utter bullshit. So, I'm not rushing for JJK. I got to see if that shit's actually good. Until then, I'm just going to keep playing Tenkaichi 1. Maybe make some content off of that. See what happens. But, damn, man. Sparking Zero. It looks good for the most part. It looks good. I might have been nitpicky, but that's just how I do things, man. They held themselves up to a certain standard back in the PS2 game, so I think it's only fair that they sort of do the same thing here. Though if they don't, it's whatever. We're in a different era. It's probably not even the same people working on the game. Who knows? But rejoice. Budokai Tenkaichi is upon us.